Okay, there's a lot going on in this circuit and we need to work out the missing values for uh, the current here at amateur one, the potential difference across the cell, which is V1, and also the resistance of this resistor, R1. Now, I'm going to always refer back to the equation that says V is equal to I times R, because if you know two of these things, you can work out the third. So the first thing I'm going to do is just have a look on, uh, on, on the diagram here and actually sort of see where I maybe know two bits of information and my eye is immediately drawn to this bit here. Because we know through this resistor here, we've got a known resistance and a known potential difference. So if we know this and this, we can then work out the current through this resistor. And because on this loop of the circuit, you can have the same current everywhere. If we work out the current through this, that also tells us the current through this resistor and the current through that ammeter. So I'm going to rearrange this to say that I is equal to V divided by R. We know here that the value of V is equal to 4.0 and the value of R is equal to 20. So 4 divided by 20 is the same as 1 divided by 5 and that's just a fifth. So that means the current here is going to be equal to 0 0.20 amps. So what that means is our value for ammeter 1 um, is equal to 0 0.20 amps. So that's the first bit of information that we know. Okay, what next? Well, we know the current through this resistor now because we've just worked it out there as 0 0.20 amps. So what we can then do is look at the potential difference across this. So we can say that V is equal to IR uh, and that means the value of V is going to be equal to the current 0 0.20 times a resistance of 10 and that means the potential difference across this component is 0.2 times 10 which is just 2.0 volts. Okay, now we're not asked to find this in the question, but it's a useful piece of information because if we know the potential difference across this and the potential difference across this, this must equal the potential difference across this because the potential difference at any loop in the circuit is going to be the same as the source. So that means the value of V1 is going to be equal to 4.0 plus 2.0, which is equal to 6.0 volts. Okay, and now the final thing we need to work out is the value of this resistance. So, um, because we know that that's 6 volts, this must also be 6 volts across this resistor. And again, uh, I might kind of sound like I'm saying the same thing, but V equals I times R. Now, across this resistor, we don't know the resistance, so R is equal to V divided by I. So the resistance here is going to be equal to the potential difference, which is 6.0 that we worked out earlier. We divide that by 0.4. Uh, which is the current. Now, I, can't, I could probably work it out in my head, but it's quicker just to use my calculator. 6 divided by 0.4, obviously it's 15, I say obviously. Um, R, here the resistance, is equal to 15 ohms. And again, I'm just going to write this very clearly, that R1 is equal to 15 ohms. So, a lot going on. You probably wouldn't get a question that asks you to, you know, do all of this stuff just straight off. It might structure your approach, asking you to find out this and this and this. But all you're doing is just applying this equation, V equals I times R, to different parts of the circuit as you kind of start to fill in the gaps until you get to the final answer.